Hey everyone, Eric here back with another video. In today's video we're going to be doing a quick comparison between two tire shines, CarPro Pearl and Ammo Mud. But before I get into this, I just want to let you guys know that this is just my opinion based off my experiences on my cars with these two products. <laughs> The first one we're going to talk about is CarPro Pearl. Pearl is a water-based silicone oxide tire dressing concentrate, it's a mouthful, uh, meaning it can be diluted down to different degrees of shine and protection. Uh, it comes slightly thicker than water uh, and allows you to be sprayed onto an applicator or poured onto an applicator or directly onto the tire itself and not run off. Granted, this is when it's undiluted. The more water you add, the runnier it'll get, but even at one to one, it didn't run excessively. Now onto the ups and downs. Uh, the first upside of CarPro Pearl is that it's versatile. With the dilution ratios, you can dial in the amount of shine you want. If you want a satin look, undiluted is pretty good. If you want a more matte, deep looking tire, one to wet is pretty good. I find that any more than that, uh, the tire shine effect isn't really there anymore and the tire just looks darker than normal. Uh, almost as if you just bought the tire and you haven't put anything on it and it hasn't seen any road time at all. The second upside, thanks to the dilution ratios, this is kind of a continuation of the first one, is that you can use it on more than just the exterior trim. Uh, you can use it, even use it on leather, which I've only used on the door leather and it's been pretty good. I've also used it on interior plastics, including the floor mats, which is usually a no-no, but there isn't any residual greasiness or any oils left over from this, so your feet don't slip around. Last upside that I'll mention about CarPro Pearl is its longevity. Uh, when applied undiluted, I've had Pearl last about close to a month on my tires without any discoloration, partly due to its non-greasiness and no real residue left over, which I find uh, causes Pearl to not attract any dust or dirt or anything like that. And I mean, the tires, they don't look shiny like you just applied Pearl after that month, but they still have that dark look, which is pretty nice. Now onto the downsides. The first being that Pearl dulls over time. Uh, after around a week, I find that Pearl loses its sheen and tends to almost fade. It doesn't lose its color, it just becomes more and more matte over time. The second downside to Pearl is that it can sometimes be splotchy. Because it's runnier than usual, it uh, can spread a little thinner and sometimes spread unevenly at the same time. Because of this, I tend to spend a little more time making sure it's, my tire is 100% covered, but that only adds a couple extra minutes to your application. Now on to Ammo Mud. Mud, just like Pearl, is a water-based dressing, but with some different properties. So unlike Mud, Pearl is a little bit more gloopy and allows it to stick to the tire a little more. And it's also not a concentrate, so you just use it directly out of the bottle and you don't have to worry about any dilution ratios. Now the first upside to Mud is its consistency. Because it's a little bit thicker, it doesn't sling once it's been applied to your tires. And despite being thick, it also spreads fairly thin. So you don't have to worry about using an excessive amount and running through your bottle fairly quickly with this. It's a little bit goes a long way. Uh, that's kind of the motto with all ammo products, a little bit goes a long way. You don't have to worry about overspending when it comes to these products. The second upside to mud is that just like Pearl, it's fairly versatile. I've only used it on exterior plastics and rubber, but it's lasted a long time. Uh, for instance, I've used it on the rear valence on my A4, and it'll last a few weeks before I need to do reapplication. And on trim that's higher up, like mirrors, um, it'll last about close to a month. And the same can be said for engine color covers. And because it's hydrophobic, um, on things that you can't normally wax, you can get some protection and some beading. And the same can be said for Pearl, but I find the Ammo Mud uh, beads just a little bit better than Pearl. And lastly, this may seem kind of weird, but mud smells so good, it's kind of a pleasure to use. Now onto the downsides of Ammo Mud. Because of its consistency, it can sometimes be a pain to apply to more intricate tires. Uh, on my truck, for instance, I have to spend a couple extra minutes making sure I get it all the way into all the little knobs. And on my A4, for instance, the fine lines take a little bit of extra time to get it worked into, but it's a couple extra minutes and there's no real issue at the end of it once it's on. Second downside is that mud doesn't absorb super quickly. So if you apply it and you go for a drive not long after, I'd say, Anything less than an hour after, it will attract dust and that'll become stuck to the tire, which can lead to some discoloration. Now, I've also used uh, Griot's tire cleaner. I've used dish soap. I've used citrus degreaser on my tires. And I still have this issue. And I don't think it's really an issue of using an excessive amount because I've switched up how much I've used. And I find that if I use a little bit less than normal, I still have the same issue as if I used a ton. Um, but it just, when you apply it, it seems like it kind of starts to seep out a little bit more. So you kind of have to go back over it once again with your applicator just to make sure it's 100% in your tire, not just on your tire. So now onto the part that you've been waiting for. Which one would I choose? Well, while both are great, I definitely prefer Ammo Mud. That being said, if you're looking for a really nice tire shine that provides a really nice dark matte look to your tires, Pearl's definitely a good choice. But as a tire dressing, I think Mud just does a much better job providing a more satin look to your tire, which is something that I prefer more than a matte look to your tire. And it provides the same amount of depth as Pearl, so 
Well, you get similar properties. I find that uh, ammo mud just a little bit better. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. I want to remind you guys to rate, comment, and subscribe. And if you guys want to see anything else on my Audi A4 Avant, you can click right here for an overview video, or you can click right here to see a video on the ceramic brake pads I put on not too long ago. Uh, in that video, I do a quick little brake dust test and let you guys know what it's like having ceramic brakes, how much easier they're, they're clean, that sort of thing. So yeah, stay tuned. Rate, comment, and subscribe once again. Peace.